Hello, Aquayard here. Got everyone moved over to their more permanent housing. I'll give you an update as to how everything went. Uh, I moved everyone out of their tote. As you can see, the water is pretty gross right now. The driftwood that I was using, the apple wood that I discussed in the last video, uh, has been slowly releasing tannins, which is pretty normal. Uh, I thought I had it under control. Uh, however, uh, a piece of wood that was hanging out of the water a little bit fell over and it just uh, started turning, you know, discolored right away. So I've been soaking and soaking that wood for a long time and doing frequent water changes. And I've come to the conclusion that it's just not worth the hassle right now. That's a shame because I'm probably in the home stretch of not having to worry about the tannins. But uh, when you're setting up a new tank, you really don't want to worry about the the water being discolored, even if you're doing frequent water changes. So uh, this was how the water looked this morning. Kind of sketchy. Uh, you can see the broken up eggshells in there for the calcium for the snails. And I have the tiny sponge filter shut off. And I've been looking it over. I'm pretty sure I got all the snails out. Uh, there's two, let's see if I get a better shot. In this corner here, right in the back corner, right at the tip of my fingernail, there's two shells. I'm pretty sure those are two dead juveniles. Uh, they smelled quite rancid when I picked them out to move them to the other tank. So I put them back in that corner to see if they would move, and so far they haven't. So I'm almost pretty certain those are uh, some goners. So yeah, as of right now, this little tote is out of commission. I will make sure to get that sponge filter out. I'll, I'll probably give it a good rinse and a squeeze and then I'll put it back in the main tank uh, just so I can have a little sponge filter that keeps the bacteria in it and keeps it activated and be ready to go for whatever else I might need. So uh, coming back to the tank, this is a 55 gallon long. It's an Aquion tank. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, Let's talk about the lighting. It's a four foot long shop light from Harbor Freight. I think I got it for $16.99 on sale. Just a LED light, nothing fancy. And I have it hanging from some uh, adjustable ropes with carabiners, carabiners. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Apparently I can't pronounce anything. Um, I used, uh, kind of went a DIY approach with the, the lids. The cost of lids these days is insane. I reached out to Aquion just to see which lids um, are sized right for this. And it was $75 to get a lid. And that's what I spent on the tank. So it's just crazy to me. So I got some greenhouse panels from Lowe's. Um, cut them to size, which was not as easy as I thought it would be. Uh, and then I cocked in all these... Um, all these open edges to keep moisture out. Otherwise you risk, you know, moisture getting in all these channels and molding up. So it sits almost perfectly flat. I mean, this side sits flat. This side's not quite flat. Um, I think the caulk is pushing it out a little bit. So uh, this is the pothos plant from the other tank. I have a little channel cut out here. Uh, that lets the root, root go down into the tank. So that'll be growing out in time. Uh, the rocks in here, these are all from, uh, get you a closer shot. These are all from my pond, my natural pond, farm pond, whatever you want to call it. I boiled all of them before putting them in there and just tried to make some little cages or something. Uh, so the, the fat head minnows can uh, hide out in there. See if I can find a couple for you. There you go. I counted them and there was only six. So I don't know if some died. I didn't see any bodies in there. Maybe the snails ate them or something. And uh, that fat head right there is the biggest one by far. And it does have a little uh, black circle at the end of its stomach. So I don't know if that's a pregnant female. I'm keeping an eye on it, but that one might be pregnant. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, these are the Java moss mats that I showed in the last video from Aquarium Co-op. They are no longer mats. I uh, cut the twine off and removed them from the metal and uh, squeezed them into balls. Just kind of compacted them and threw them in there. 
and I think it looks pretty cool. I don't think they'll stay looking that cool. I think over time the snails will move them about and break them down and we'll see how it goes. I could always squeeze them back together. And then I used a uh, white aquarium substrate or sand and um, you can see the snails are already taking a break and hiding out in there, which I think is pretty cool. So there's 13 adults and I counted the juveniles when moving them over. There's already 14 juveniles and it's only been a few weeks. So I think that's pretty cool. There's a juvenile hanging around the Java fern leaf straight ahead there. And uh, let's see, uh, there's another juvenile on the substrate right there. So everyone seems to be doing pretty well. I haven't put any food in yet, but I will be shortly. I just want to give everyone a chance to let it settle. And the tank is just sitting on some cinder blocks with some four by fours. Not an expensive setup, just trying to do the basics to have a healthy tank. The uh, java ferns, um, they were on the driftwood in the past video. I simply pulled them off and just planted them in the substrate. Uh, there's actually several uh, juveniles on the java fern. I didn't realize it at first, but uh, one, two, three I'm seeing. Top left hand corner in the middle and the bottom left. And if this is shaking a bit, I'm sorry. I don't have the most stable hands, apparently. And then the Anubius Petite plant, that was also on the driftwood in the last video. I pulled that off as well. Again, the tannins were just uh, becoming a problem, and I didn't want to discolor the tank. So that's where we're at with that. So far, everyone seems to be settling pretty nicely. If you guys, uh, excuse me, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I just want to give you a quick update. I think things look pretty good, so. There's a couple juveniles hanging on the Java moss right now. When I first put the snails in, I was a little worried because uh, it almost seemed like the substrate was getting uh, stuck to the snails. And I think that was just uh, air bubbles in the sand. Uh, and I think over time, the snails will just work it out. Okay, I'm going to be signing off. This is Aquayard. Thanks for checking out the snails. Let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.